Poor data is highly problematic. In every situation, there's never been a way poor data has been useful to anybody, both in making decisions, both in analyzing data for research or marketing or anything you can think of. It is a very challenging thing. As an analyst, you will always encounter poor data, dirty data, inadequate data, or just any data that will not be able to achieve a particular objective. Some of the core reasons why there's so much challenging data out there stems from how the data is collected. A little bit of history about how the data we have today were collected may help you to understand why there's so much poor quality out there. In the past, everything was written on paper. Then there were no computers, and there was a time when there was only typewriters. When computers became available, the idea was just to move the data from paper to a digital format. Initially, the data is not collected for the sake of analysis or for the sake of being able to store it and use it for, to store it for the various diverse purposes which were using it today. And then from the digital format, it was stored into a database. Some of the databases out there don't have referential integrity. The databases are not normalized because the objective was different. Then also, apart from the fact that the data was collected for different reason, which was just to put them in a digital format, there's also the human error. Think about the data entry mistakes, the typos, some of the poor spellings. Those errors were not checked at that time. Then, of course, as time goes on, some of the data became outdated. Some of them were inaccurate. Some of them were not reliable. Because there's no way of keeping the data constantly accurate, it may be that so many organizations were not positioned to see data as a new you or that they see data as something very important. Not much was done in terms of ensuring data accuracy. Some of the transactional data you see there are dished as soon as the year ends. To the owners of the data, that was just the business data collected last year. The year is gone. After they've done their IRS reports, they think everything is okay, and they feel there's no need to go back to that data. But in today's world, we have come to realize that the data we thought we don't need might be the solution to tomorrow's problem. Many organizations and even individuals are not data literate. Some people don't understand the need to interpret the data or how to manage data or how to manage their businesses using data-driven decisions. In some uh, situations, data governance was never part of the discussion. They don't have data governance. There's no framework for data governance. So nobody is responsible for data of the organization. Many state governments still don't have strict data governance framework. So these are some of the reasons why there's so much poor quality data out there. And then, of course, the data silos are just one of the other problems. Data infrastructure in many organizations and state governments are still in the past. And using outdated computing systems that are not compatible with modern computing infrastructure. You see some organizations or uh, government agencies, uh, their data lives in uh, location A, department B have their data in a different zone, they are all in silos, they are not integrated, they cannot have a handshake, they can't talk to each other. So you cannot even get a reliable data from the same organization. Before you can get any reliable data, you have to go through several hurdles. And these are just the same organization. Imagine now trying to get data from one government department or the other. It becomes almost impossible. Even where the data were collected using scientific approach, the objective may not be the same. Again, most of the data we have in, in the industry were collected for a different purpose. 
Think about registering to buy a product or receive a product or service. And then tomorrow, the organization is using the same registration detail to send marketing content to you. Remember when they collected the data, it was not meant to be used for marketing. They never told you they were going to use it for marketing. They never told you they were going to enter your name in their database and be sending out all sorts of information that you don't even know if you need them. That's why as data analysts, you're always going to get to a point where there's a need to clean up data. In fact, according to many reports, data analysts spend between 60 to 80% of their time just cleaning up data. Because if you don't clean up the data, whatever you're going to get out of them may not be reliable information. So in summary, when you think about dirty data, think about why they were there, Think about why you need to clean them. Think about how was the data collected. Think about the formatting of the data. Think about the governance of the data, who is responsible. Think about the ethical use of that data. Think about the need to ensure that you're using the right data for analysis. <laughs>